Welcome back to our weekend vlog. You guys seem to enjoy this the last time. We don't have anything like major planned this weekend, but it is the weekend before Valentine's Day and it's also Super Bowl weekend. I'm super excited because we are from Missouri. We are big Kansas City Chiefs fans and so we're gonna celebrate that tomorrow night. Tonight we're gonna celebrate Valentine's Day with the kids and let them open all of their gift baskets that we got them. If you missed that, our last video was me sharing everything that we got for them in their baskets if you wanted to see that. But yeah, it's Saturday afternoon right now. The kids are eating lunch and we're getting ready to go to Lexi's basketball game. We also need to go back to the library. If you saw our last weekend vlog, we've been on like a library kick. So every other weekend we've been going and, and doing that. I am currently reading the book Little Women and absolutely loving it. Oh my gosh. Anyway, so that's kind of what we have on the plans for today. Last night was Friday night. We didn't do a whole lot. I did take the boys to Goodwill and got them some clothes. Um, Joey, I think, has already taken his stuff up and taken the tags off and is getting ready to wash everything that he got, but he got quite a few clothes. He's really into finding like the vintage type pieces right now. I guess that's the thing, like the jeans that he picked out. I'm like, I'm pretty sure I wore those in like the 1990s. <laughs> so I kind of love that like that kind of fashion is coming back for teenagers. I will show you though everything that I have for Ben because I have all that stuff down here still. Meanwhile, while we were shopping at Goodwill, Mark took the girls to get their hair cuts, but let me show you everything I got for Ben for from Goodwill, and then we've got to head on to Lexi's basketball game. This is a hoodie that he picked out. He said that this reminded him of Zelda because of this little symbol here. I don't really think that that's what this is, to be honest. I don't really know what it is, um, but it is kind of a cool looking hoodie, and it was only $7. It does have a little bit of like pilling to it, but it's not terrible, and we could probably clean some of that off. We got just a plain black long sleeve tee for him. This was like $3 and some change. He picked out this sweatshirt. Um, this says baseball on it, just kind of like a baseball tee style, but it's like a thick sweatshirt material. It feels really soft and cozy. And this, was, again, was only like $3.64. This shirt was a little bit more expensive. It was $9, almost $10, but it does have the original tag on it. So I think that's why it was more expensive. It was originally $28 retail price. Just a nice little like lightweight um, type of long sleeve hoodie t-shirt. He picked out this little camo zipper hoodie jacket. He really likes his hoods, I guess. <laughs> I see that theme. Um, and this was also only $3.64. This has a little bit more wear to it that you can see, but I mean, for three bucks, it's really not bad. This one was odd to me. This one has like a tag on it that says Sonoma brand, but it's definitely, isn't this a children's place? label so I'm very confused by the tag on this one um, and it was like ten dollars I feel like I might have overpaid for this shirt <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to that it is cute though I like the big brown stripes he doesn't really have anything quite that color or style this shirt here he picked out he doesn't have anything that's like this like ribbed like thermal type of material hopefully he likes it he said he thought it felt nice and soft and he would wear it um, but sometimes different textures he doesn't really care to wear but this is another one that was three dollars and 64 cents and then the last one is also something that surprised me but it's this under armor and this is more like the active wear um, Honestly, it feels like my leggings material. It's like fleecy lined on the inside, but he's never worn anything that has like any kind of a turtleneck to it before. So that kind of surprised me that he wanted that, but he said he would wear it. So $3.64 for that piece as well. So that is everything that we got for Ben. I'm gonna take the tags off and get ready to throw those in the wash and we're gonna get ready to go to Lexi's game. Lexi's game she played really good defense I think that's like her favorite part of playing basketball is doing defense now we're gonna go to the library we've got some things to return and a book on hold to pick up 
Paisley wants to go with me and she wants to look around. I think the other kids are just going to stay here and hang out. They were playing outside this morning and now I think some of them are just ready to kind of have a chill afternoon. So that's what we're going to do. I'm also going to stop at the grocery store on the way back home because I have a fun little appetizer that I want to make. I think I'm going to make it for like an appetizer for the Super Bowl um, tomorrow, but they're also like a little heart shaped appetizers. You'll see. So that's what we're headed to next. Nice children's patio out here with lots of musical instruments. That one good. Yeah. Shopping is done. Paisley picked out our dessert for tonight. Be mine. And she also picked out a surprise for the girls. She wants to make cake pops. You guys can see that tomorrow. <laughs> All right, let's go. From the library, Paisley picked out this um, solar system stem kit. We love these things. This is the third one we've had. The first one we had was like a pet vet set. The next one we had was a camping set, and now we got this solar system one. So this one comes with like giant inflatable planets, <laughs> and it came with a pump to pump yeah. everything up. Lexi has the other piece. So they're actually playing some sort of what, like hide and seek? Yeah, game. we're playing like we have to hide these planets and like like we have one person that's a seeker so we have to hide these and then each one of us gets like to protect one and Lexi has to like grab it from us and once she steals our planet and puts it in here we're out and we have to help her so oh, she boy. got me so now I have to help her and we're also looking for planets because we hid the rest that we couldn't protect so we're I trying see. to find them. Okay. So it's like a hide and seek game that they're playing with them right now. And then there's a shining stars projector that it comes with too, with three different discs. And then of course it comes with a book too about planets and moons. All of those STEM kits have come with a book so far, so that's pretty neat. Meanwhile, I'm getting all their baskets together, ready to give to them after we do dinner. And then my mom sent some cards and little Smarties candy for them too, so I'll give them that after dinner. And even though I am like almost 40 years old, my mom still gets me a card. And I think she said this is like a gift card for Mark and I, so yeah. Still an adult and I still get presents for Valentine's Day. That's where I get the gift giving from. <laughs> Whoops, I totally forgot to show you guys dinner. Mark made pork steaks on the grill. There were also hot dogs and brats that are all gone now. Baked beans, mac and cheese, and uh, this was green beans. <laughs> that was dinner. Now the kids are ready to open up their gifts. Oh! <gasps> Yay, these again! Where's mine? Colin! Does Lexi? Did you forget about that, Ben? No. Yay. Love. A card. Love. Oh, another a card. Oh, yeah, I picked this out. Huh? Oh, that's from Grammy and Grammy. Oh, my God! Another <laughs> heart! That's my heart. Paisley picked out a red yes, card. Yes, my Mark card. <laughs> yeah, Lush. Michaela. Look what, look what Lush it is, Kiki. I've, I've never had Lush before in my life. It smells so good. Oh, it's a cow! You had to sign I've it. never had oh, Lush. Damn, oh my God, really? the Lush cow bath bomb. I don't what know. What are the these? Lush. Mommy, what's the <gasps> popcorn? They're like really nice uh, bath bombs. Oh, Bailey, the lady it. said that yours, Hate it looks it. like that rainbow foam on like the car wash, like when you go through a car wash. Oh my gosh, it does. When, when you put it in the bathtub, it looks I like you're going through a car wash. Ooh, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I don't know I got a call too. Oh, it's a spinner. I got Krabby Patty. You guys open your cards from Grammy. I, I already did. Oh, you did? Yeah. Everybody did. Open your card from Grammy so I can get on the video. Um, Who's this card from? Uh, money! Ten bucks. Ten bucks is blue. Money! Where is this? Money! Yes! What do you say? Thank you! 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 Thank you!
You should see this because you should be watching this video. Oh. And Grandma. <laughs> Good morning. It is Sunday now and I'm getting ready to take the boys back to their dad so they can celebrate the Super Bowl. And then I am going to lunch with some girlfriends of mine for like a Galentine's Day at the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, here we go. I didn't take much video in there, but that was super fun. My food at Cheesecake Factory was so good. Their menu was so thick. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Cheesecake Factory before. It had been a long time for me and I had forgot how big their menu is. There are so many different things to choose from, but the food that I got was the chicken and biscuits. It tastes a lot like a, kind of like a deconstructed chicken pot pie. But that was really fun catching up with my friends. And now I'm headed back home. I got some cheesecake to take home to Mark and the girls. We're gonna go home and make some appetizers and Paisley's cake pops that she wanted to make and get ready to watch the Chiefs play in the Super Bowl. And yes, I'm definitely listening to Rihanna getting ready for the halftime show all the way home. So I just got back home and it looks like Mark and the girls are still at Michaela's horse riding lessons. That's where they have been, by the way. To have a very real moment with you, our house is a wreck from the kids opening up all their Valentine stuff. It looks like the girls started working on their Valentine cards for school this morning while I was gone. The house is just a mess, but I'm off all day tomorrow because I work for the state and it's a state holiday tomorrow, like Lincoln's birthday or something, I think. But all the kids and Mark will be at school and work. And so I think I might just spend the day cleaning tomorrow when nobody else is home. It's always easier for me to get stuff done that way anyway. And it is beautiful outside. So I think what I'm gonna actually do now until Mark and the girls get back is go for a little walk because I don't know about you guys, but I don't get outside of the house much when it's really cold out. Not a fan of the cold weather, but it is beautiful today. It's like 60 degrees and we don't get these kind of days often this time of year. So I think I'm gonna use our new leashes from Ikea. If you saw our like I date night where we went to Ikea and had a really good deal on some brand new dog leashes, take all the dogs for a walk. I'll go for a walk. So nice, huh? It's a nice day, you wanna go for a walk? Okay, get Hey. Oh. While I was gone, Mark and the girls put the cake mix together, got that all cooled now, and we're ready to start turning it into cake pops. We just got like the chocolate frosting, chocolate box cake mix, and then to dip it, we're just gonna try this like dipping chocolate. Uh, my friend Brittany from Brittany's Beautiful Chaos, um, she, had a, she had used like the microwavable dipping chocolate whenever she made chocolate covered strawberries for her Valentine's Day treat, and I thought that was a good easy idea so the way i understand making cake pops and paisley's made them before with her mom but they have a cake pop maker so we have two of them yeah so it's a little different but the way i understand it is you crumble up your cake mix and you add some frosting together until it's like a wet sand type of texture and then you're supposed to have lollipop um like sticks we are gonna try using these four inch bamboo skewers. The girls are just gonna have to be careful when they bite into them so they don't hurt themselves. <laughs> but I'm hoping that those will hold up um, enough. If not, we just might have cake balls instead of cake pops. So 
that is what we're gonna start working on next. Yeah. You crumble it up and you don't want any like big chunks, otherwise it's not gonna be nice and smooth cake pops. So if you get like any big chunks. I don't know how this is gonna work, but. You just do it like that, yeah, that's right. cake pops into the little ball shapes now we're going to put them in the fridge for four hours to cool and then we'll finish them up later while the cake pops are cooling the girls are working on finishing up their valentines for their classes this week at the valentine party lexi picked out these little skateboard ones and we're going to attach just one single um, hershey's kiss to these paisley picked out these kool-aid valentine candy card kits so it comes with like a little kool-aid pitcher shaped lollipop and she's putting them together like that. Very cute, please. Michaela made her Valentine's Day box at her mom's house, but this is Lexi's. Mark helped put it together. This is like a big coffee container, like a Folgers coffee container that we cut the hole in. And so it just turned into a little basketball hoop. I thought that was pretty cute. And then this is Paisley's. She made it all by herself. Very cute little sleepy bunny with pretty little flowers glued on. And then a little part where you slip the cards in in the back. Very you don't know I stole her flowers. <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> Your dad told me. Oh, he Beef. rotten me out. Beef. <laughs> I thought that these were really cute. This came from a Betty Crocker cookbook that I rented from the library, and I just took a picture of these, <laughs> thinking that I would make them for, like, Valentine's Day, Super Bowl weekend, because they're almost like Chiefs colors with, like, the red and kind of, like, yellowish color. <laughs> So, and they're heart shaped, so I thought that was fun. The red pepper filled appetizer hearts is what they are called. And this is everything that it calls for. You need some of the garlic herb, Philadelphia cream cheese, melted butter, oregano, bisquick mix, because of course that's Betty Crocker, and then some finely chopped red peppers. So you mix together the bisquick mix, the oregano, and water. And knead the dough five times on a work surface. I've already done that. And you're gonna roll it out so it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Once you have the dough rolled out, you put it on a parchment lined baking sheet, and then you mix together the cream cheese and the chopped red pepper. And we're gonna spread that evenly on top. Then you're gonna take the long edges and roll it into a log. Now we're gonna put it in the freezer for about 10 to 15 minutes. When they come out of the freezer, then you cut them into about one inch slices and shape them into little hearts. And then you're gonna brush them with some melted butter. <laughs> the game's about to start and they're gonna hurry. And then we're gonna pop them into the oven for about seven to nine minutes. Time for the game to start. Let's go Chiefs, woo! Here's what they look like when they come out of the oven. I will say they did not keep their heart shape very well, but they do look like Chiefs colors and I bet they probably still taste good, but we gotta let them cool first. Meanwhile, Mark is making pizza and wings for us and the game is already on, but luckily he can watch it on his phone. <laughs> but Kayla's doing the touchdown dance. <laughs> touchdown! Hi honey, it's nice to see you on the vlog. <laughs> I think this is the first time you've been in this whole video all weekend. I've been hiding. How are they? I'm not pretty good. You try, you try it yet? I'm nervous. Mm. They're good. They got a lot of flavor. Mark said they almost need to be like dipped in something because they are just a little bit dry. More like a biscuit, like texture. Like those, uh, those Cheddar Bay biscuits, like from mm. uh, Red Lobster. They kind of have like that kind of texture. Yeah, pretty similar. It's good though. The cake pops did turn into more like cake balls. Those sticks were nowhere near strong enough to hold the density of the cake, but they still tasted delicious. And of course, we couldn't have asked for a better ending to the weekend than seeing the Chiefs win the Super Bowl. But that's going to be it for this video. We'll be back next week with a new video in our alphabet dating series and my nephew's fun birthday party celebration. So be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more from us. And we'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.